Are we back? Should be back. Should be back. Are we good? I think. No. Nope. Hold okay. on. We good? Okay, good. New string. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta restart everything. I closed out of everything, and now I gotta reopen it again. And they in this is like Inception. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Just a minute. Hey, Houston. Hey, Emma, you did nice. Budgeception. I right, see Skylander. Sorry about that, y'all. My internet just kind of went out, but it came right back on, so it's all good. Yeah. Hit that like button, guys. New stream. Thank you. Thank you. I know Renaissance, but it's all good now. We good to go now. We good to go now. Thank you. Like Spike. Uh, gotta open a few things. Gotta open all the bots back. Blah. Did you say monkeys? <laughs> Cats are being annoying. Oh boy. Here we go. Sorry, guys. All right. Oh, yeah, it's good. Press the check button. What's that mean? Snake. What? Are you smoking a cigarette? Nope. Nope. Yes, you are. It's not a cigarette. It's a cigar. Same thing. Not at all. In fact, there's a world of difference. Oh, hold on. That's all good. Quite like the rich smell and mellow flavor of a cigar. Oh, hold on, gotcha. And that thick, luxurious smoke is almost sensual when it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Y you know something? Probably not. But I don't want to hear it. Well, you don't have a choice. <sighs> Cigarettes are bad for you. It's not a, a cigarette. cigarette. It's a... Quiet, you. <laughs> Smoking is bad for you. In a recent study, scientists found that tobacco smoke is full of carcinogenic substances, like nitrosamines. You know what that means? It means you're going to give yourself lung cancer if you keep on smoking. But that's just what some scientists think, right? Oh, give me a break. I heard it was just a bunch of hoo-ha. Do you really believe that? Sure. God, you're gullible. <laughs> you ought to read this year's report from the Surgeon General. It proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that smoking causes lung cancer. Pretty soon the whole world will know that smoking is bad for you. Better quit now before it's too late. But... And don't tell me cigar smoke is harmless because it doesn't go down into your lungs. It just means the cancer shows up in a different place. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, yeah. Nice sheep. Foreshadowing, I know. <laughs> Sokolov should be at the abandoned... Snake, in order to carry out the mission without being spotted, you must learn to detect an approaching enemy. Welcome back. Maybe she talks about the death pill. I can't remember. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for coming back. 
When you get hurt, your body... A tactical reload. Tactical reload? Circle off. Death pill. I see you're using binoculars. Oh, yeah. The ones you've got are a high-performance military model equipped with a zoom function. That's right. Yeah. They give me a flat image across the entire viewing range. They're completely waterproof and highly shock and flame resistant. You won't need to worry about them breaking. Noodle Poodle, I don't during think a so. Mission. If you can determine enemy positions and the lay of the land from a distance, it'll make your job that much easier. Use them wisely. Got it. You have some life medicine on you. Yeah. Life medicine is a recent pharmaceutical product developed by the Soviet Union. It works with your metabolism to quickly treat wounds. Yeah. If you use it, you can recover life on the spot. Try it when your life is starting to run low in battle. 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 The gauge below your... Sokolov. 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 A camera. Circle. Press the first person. What's up, Paulo? Stealth camo. You're wearing the woodland face paint, I see. The woodland face paint is designed for use. I'm not using that. I just want to see if the, she said anything. I guess not. Noodle Poodle, that is sad. That is very sad to hear. I'm very mad. Kyle, I have not a clue, to be honest with you. No. Oh, yeah. It's working. Ow! Woo! He got me! Really? It's dead again? What? Maybe refresh? I don't know. You see me? Still fine there? Okay. Saving the game, Snake? Yeah, I love that. I do need to do that.
I don't know if I, I don't, I don't have a grenade with me right now, though. We have to wait. Alright, that's for humans. Head on fire, to just... Need to put the stream delay? Ah... That KM Nation. Uh, six seconds, maybe? I don't know. Ten seconds. This thing takes forever to save. Hey, Snake. You ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No. No. What is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. I know, head on. Nuclear I know. test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make believe. Okay, yeah, that is pretty cool. They did that. It's been so tight lately. <laughs> Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? I know that. Come on. Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Doctor Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Like Metal Gear. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. <laughs> you think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies, then? Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie watching type, are you? Not really. All of prediction okay. is accurate. And I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from yeah, a not good perspective once. when you get in a jam. <laughs> hey, Peter. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Revolver, yeah, I know, with a breach charge. <laughs> it's a good one, Pete. Here we go, y'all ready? Oh. Tasty. It's supposed to do the thing. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. I see you've got yourself a Baltic hornet's nest. Oh, yeah. Baltic hornets are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. The difference between them and other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. In particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. I did too. Sure it's the perfect survival food. Hey, Adriana Gaming, honey welcome. Can also be used How are you doing? Welcome. When honey is applied to I'm a bone, Jacob. it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, I said a Adriana will appear along with it. So Adriana, Adriana, maybe. Of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you knock a nest down, a large swarm of hornets will come flying out. So be careful. Peter, I'm great, man. Peter and family's great, man. Thank you. How about you, Peter? How about you, Peter? Snake, there's a fruit called the galova growing in that area. Galova? Yeah, it's a fruit that's I'm found great. in that What have you been up to? It's related to the jackfruit. Metal Gear fan. Found in Southeast Asia. And Janana. Jackfruit, huh? Yep, he's a cannibal. Yep, he's a cannibal. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say anything. No, I'm sure you... I said, I'm sure you'd like it. So it says Adriana. Means is it Adriana or Adriana? How am I, say, how am I supposed to say it? It's that because the fruit grows to about the size of a human head. It's supposedly pretty good to eat with a uniquely sweet flavor. The fruit itself is fairly large, so you can make a meal out of it. Golovas grow directly off the trunk of the tree. If you're running low on stamina, it might be a good idea to keep an eye on the tree trunks. Adriana's a joke. Okay. 
Okay. Because I said it right the first time. I was like, I'm screwing this up so bad. Okay, so Adriana. Okay. Hey, Mike Beat. No problem, man. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the like. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Adriana's a joke. So Metal Gear, kind of one of your big things, or you enjoy the series, Adriana? Paramedic. Yeah. What's up? Are you a medic or a doctor? I'm a well-respected physician, or I was until I joined the CIA. How was your reputation? My what? Uh, your reputation. Three months. Dang. That. It's okay, Mike B. How was it? Why? Don't you trust me? That's not what I meant. Fine then. Uh huh. So. So what? Your reputation. How was it? <laughs> Dang, My, you're relentless. Hey, I'm a snake. So? My reputation was spotless. I'm highly skilled, patient, and good looking to boot. Ooh. Everybody wanted to see me. What else would you expect? Yeah. Mm. No, seriously. Incidentally, her nickname back then was Quack. Major. Is that true? Hmm, is what true? About your nickname. No. Well, maybe a few people did call me that. So you were a quack. What games do you like no. to play, Adriana? Well, yes and no. I mean, Airflack. in a sense I was, but then again I wasn't. <laughs> Snake, her skills as a doctor are beyond reproach. You have my word on that. Hey, Chris. Yeah, that's exactly what I was trying to say, Snake. Then why did they call her quack? It's because she... Never mind that. It doesn't matter. We've got a job to do and we have hey, to stay focused. Besides, my past doesn't have anything to do with the mission and... Because she never shuts up. Yes. But not it. Mike. No, yes, that's, that's not it. <laughs> Snake, tell him that's not true. <laughs> Say something. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, you do that. Just a minute. Snake, don't you hang up on me. <laughs> That area is home. Yeah, we already heard about that. That's right. I love it. I love it. I knew it. You were a duck. Okay, I see more of those type of games. Nice. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. Revolver, no. AK 47s and grenades. High five sixers and pineapples. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. You can't hey, let Chris. the Kremlin find out that the CIA Thanks and again. the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The major hey, is Adriana, right. cool. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. God zero. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. Revolver it was. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Ah, 
Um, let's see. Chris, my son hasn't been born yet. My wife is great. Um, but yeah, my son's not born yet, but soon. Soon. Yep, for the very first time, yep. It'll be our first child. Revolver, maybe. That would be my wife and our first child. Thank you, appreciate it, Adriana. Appreciate that very much. Yeah, pop a pudge. Thank you, Peter. Now, yeah, Poppy, not Papa, Poppy. Right. How do I come up with the name Pudge? It's P U D G E, by the way. You're missing a D. Um, Pudge is my baseball nickname. Oh no, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Well, thank you, Chris. Well, thank you, Chris. <laughs> Major. I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Chris. Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Got be it. careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Hey, just oh, want to know gaming? Hey, hey, man, yeah. You okay. mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. <sighs> Can't remember. Um... She talks about that or not, or she's even here. Yeah, Kyle, Pudge, Pudge Jr.
She even answers. Yeah, she's not answering now. Dang. Something like that. Snake, Sokolov is imprisoned in the northeast area of the factory. Right. Pudge Jr. Got it. To the northeast. Got it. Yes, and don't engage the enemy. Got it. The object of this mission is to bring Sokolov back safely and nothing more. Got it. Contact Sokolov without being spotted by the enemy and bring him out. i see you, Peter. I appreciate it, man. Have a good you night. Must dispose of an enemy. Do it with the tranquilizer gun. Got it. He was like me. Hey, um, how about I'll play Metal Gear right now? Good to see you too. <laughs> yeah, dude, it doesn't take very long. Snake, as I said before, this mission is only to bring Sokolov back safely. You must not put Sokolov in danger. You're not allowed cool, to contact Keith. him during the alert phase. Period. Period. The gauge below your. Got a war snake eater. There we go. Do you want to save? Why not? I will not to live, baby. Live it to the max. <laughs> Joseph, I bet they are. How you doing, Joseph? I'm first book. First book. Right on my first book. Good night, Peter. Good night. See you later, buddy. Good to have you here, man. Come back at any time. I am. Gamers like me, that statement doesn't even make sense. Mega Slot 5 is one of those Snake, games if you want to die multiple times. That doesn't make sense. Again. Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was a scene pig. when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. <clears throat> I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Why not? Are you calling me a fishman? You started it. You started it. That didn't go well. Where'd he go? Damn it. Hey, liquid pandals. Abigail, hey. Where my timing? Doing good. Damn it. I did save it though, thankfully. Oh, I did.
All my timing was off. Liquid Pedal's doing good, man. How are you doing? Pets, what are y'all doing? They need to... F what? Revolver, I know. Let's go, game. Hey, Andres. Cristo, what's up? Dang it. Here we go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Hello, 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 hello. Let it go. Come on. Uh, this game takes so long to load. Appreciate it. Liquid, that's awesome, dude. Da 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 do 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 Ah, <laughs> come on. Yadi! Yadi! There we go. That's what I'm gonna end today, right there. You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the Army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the Motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the Army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition, so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And, on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. 
He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here, and he I always feel Thanks for the host, Carmen. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men hey, just Kassar. to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Yeah, Abigail. Yep, they're smart. I mean, they're smart. They're speaking Russian. <laughs> Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Got it. Oh, still here. Never mind. Yeah, it's Rush English. Or Indian. Maya, Maya, <laughs> back in. This is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? 
I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? Hey, Big Mike, welcome. What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Got him! Major! Leave it! Shoot the other one! Big Mike, I, see I am you trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> 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 But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Dilly dilly. Pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> Major, do you read me? <laughs> I Banana. read you. 
<laughs> Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Common, yeah. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Where nose Sokolov has been out in the cold for far too long. Catch up to him. We're counting on you. Hold on. Okay, okay. <laughs> they love each other, what can I say? I know, I'm, I know, I'm messed up. I'm messed up in the head. I'm messed up in the head. I know it! I know, I know. Heck yeah. Infinite ammo! You want to save? Yes, I want to save. Why would I not want to save? I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, thank you, Keith. Have a good night, buddy. Good night, man. <laughs> win, stay Quinn. Uh, come on, save! It takes so long. Snake, have you heard of it came from outer space? Nope. Yeah, you told me. Oh that. yeah, she did. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? Right. And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. Snatcher. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you. It makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago? Guess I'm out of luck, though. <sighs> you know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. No way. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like Gee. if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No way. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. No way! Dual layer too, Blu-ray. <laughs> Change the disc, Snake. Oh wait, this is a PlayStation 3 system. How are they thinking of Damn it, Otacon, get a grip! That area is home to the Sunda Whistling Thrush. The Sunda Whistling Thrush is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. It's distinguished Hell, by its large blue body and long beak. Right, big it really stands out in the forest. If you're aiming to catch one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So... How's it taste? How does it taste? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? The guy doesn't say. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it'd make a hearty meal. Yummy. That's a good point. Yeah. Ugh. That's a good point. <laughs> Tasty. Um, let's go ahead and do this. I saved it because I'm doing non-lethal, but I have to do this. Some people don't know. Snake, what have you done? You changed the future. 
created a time paradox. That's why I saved it. Time Paradox! It's for the better. Yeah. And that solves off. That solves everything. All right. <laughs> Abigail, I think you're drunk. <laughs> Just in Kylie. Wow. I think... You Emma's had her, had, had her worm cluster up in you. All right, see you, Peggy. Scott, whatever. Action of time is pretty good, too. Ah! Big Mac, am I from Tennessee? No, but close. Guess again. Very close to Tennessee, though. Nope, further away. Rohan, Texas is close as well. Different, not really different endings, just different ways to take on the end. Mike, further, you're further away. Yep, not Oklahoma, but still close. Yeah, not Alaska. You're all around it, Big Mike. Tennessee, Texas, Oklahoma. You're there. All those touch the state I'm in. All of those. Let's narrow it down. That area. Yeah, I already did that. How's it taste? Yeah. By the way, Snake. Yeah. What? What was that little lecture back there? Lecture? What lecture? You were instructing the Gru commander, weren't you? Louisiana, Something no. Like Not Canada. His hand? Yeah. What was that supposed to mean? Well, whenever he put a new clip in his gun, He'd always load the first round by hand, whether there was a round left in the chamber or not. Not Kentucky. Oklahoma it's doesn't touch Kentucky. They teach in the Middle East. By making sure there's always a round in the chamber, you eliminate the risk of pulling the trigger with nothing to fire. He must have heard about it from someone or read it somewhere. In any case, he probably wanted to try it out for himself. And he was obviously not motivated Mississippi. by vanity to show off his technique. That's when you make mistakes. The battlefield is Arkansas. That's place. correct. The only techniques you can rely on are the Good ones you've mastered through experience and practice. Uh huh. And Cross what were you saying about him being more suited to revolvers? When he fired, he was bending his elbow sharply to avoid the recoil. It looked like he wasn't aware he was doing it, but that habit can be either a fatal flaw or a gift. What do you mean? Automatic weapons use recoil to operate, so if you don't let the recoil hit you, it interferes with the operating cycle of the gun. Basically, you shouldn't be trying nice. to avoid the impact like that. But with a revolver, there's no need to let the recoil hit you. Just the opposite. Avoiding the recoil lets you reduce the strain on your hand and arm. That kid might just be handy with a high-caliber revolver. Handy? Juliana. Are you listening to yourself? What do you mean? He's the enemy. Why are you giving him advice? Uh, I... <laughs> Snake. I don't know. For some reason, I couldn't help but point it out to him. Snake, are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Snake, stay alert. The KGB and Gru both hey, had their you? sights set on Sokolov. Gru is a military espionage outfit, the intelligence wing of the Soviet Defense Ministry's General Staff Office. 
It competes with the KGB, which is under the Ministry of Internal Affairs, and the two are always <laughs> watching each other. Never let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Exactly. Now, Max, you added green, to huh? that rivalry, yeah. there's a vicious power struggle going on between the Khrushchev faction and the anti-Khrushchev faction. So Khrushchev is using the KGB, and Volgan and the anti-Khrushchev forces are using the Gru? That's the idea. The two factions are fighting over Sokolov. We're in an extremely <laughs> dangerous situation here. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Get Sokolov out of there safely. He must not be turned over to the KGB or to the group. Sokolov took off at the bottom of the rope bridge. Get after him. Hurry. I'm tired. I'm tired. Major, have you been able to contact the boss? No. You really think it's bad reception? We're looking into it. Major. Snake, you've got more important things to worry about than contacting the boss. Right now, Sokolov is out there wandering around the jungle alone. What are you going to do if he gets caught by the enemy? <sighs> We're still looking into why we lost contact with the boss. I'll let you know as soon as we find anything <sighs> out. In the meantime, it's your job to find Sokolov and get him to safety. Got it? Got it. So, Big Mike, is this your first time in this stream? Major, do you know anything about this Gru Colonel Sokolov was talking about? Yes. Who is he? A most dangerous man indeed. His name is Yevgeny Borisovich Volgin. His code name in the West. Borisovich? I mean, Borisovich, my bad. Reputation as the most brutal well, Mike, good to have you here, man. Welcome, dude. Masters. During the war, Volgin was assigned to the well, domestic well, of the NKVD. He was stationed in the rear of the Soviet line to catch and punish any troops who tried to retreat or desert. He's also what is your profession? his oh. accomplishments in anti-guerrilla operations in the do. Ukraine and the Baltic you got States. Some? Apparently, he likes to boast that he disposed of over 100,000 anti-communists. We also know that he was instrumental in putting hey, down Helen, the 1953 insurrection in East Germany and the 1956 Ooh, uprising in Hungary. He is truly a fearsome man. There's no telling what he might be plotting. Be careful. I will. At you. <laughs> oh, oh, at you. <laughs> Major, what's this Grand and Design Bureau Sokolov was talking about? OKB 812. It's the same type of top secret facility as Sokolov's own OKB 754. The director is a man by the name of Alexander Leonovich Granin. He's Sokolov's arch rival, and the two have competed fiercely against each other since the days of the war. To hear Sokolov tell it, though, the rivalry was really all in Granin's head. In any case, Granin seems to harbor an unusually intense hatred for Sokolov. Knowing that Sokolov was protected under the aegis Ooh, of that's Khrushchev, awesome, Helen. Happy Granin birthday threw to in her. his lot with Volgin, the vanguard of the anti Khrushchev movement. Apparently, Granin meant to use Force the funds Mike. provided by you, these bud. opposition forces in order to defeat what his old solid Volgin fans his unite. was intrigued by the possibility of using the high-tech weapons Granin created in the fight against Khrushchev. Thus, the two formed an alliance, and Volgin took the Granin Design Bureau under his control. But now, now Volgin's I see got his sights set on Sokolov. I'm getting pretty tired, too. Yes, it would seem that he and Granin are we'll probably so well after all. Here at Virtuous Mission, you have to finish all this stuff, and we'll start again tomorrow, probably. Probably. Snake, making it harder for the enemy to spot you isn't the only advantage to maintaining a high camo index. The harder you are to distinguish from your surroundings, the harder you are to hit. In other words, the enemy's shots will miss Bang, more. Bang, Abigail, no! Do everything you can to keep your camo index high at all times. Helen, I bet. What time is it where you are, Helen? Hey, Chuck. What up? Snake, be careful. The way to change between standing crouch... Snake, there are rats living in that area. The rats in that area... Need a maybe. We're about to probably stop here soon. Rats ...that were domesticated okay, by Helen. humans as pets and lab animals. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you, but they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Uh-huh. So how do they taste? Snake. Abigail. <laughs> what? They're rats. I know what they are. Do they, they taste, taste okay? <sighs> the guide says they're not that bad. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Good enough for me. If you have any questions about stamina or healing, just ask me. No. I'll tell you everything you need to know. It'll have to be over the radio, though. Well, not nah, so crap. You won't be able to see me naked then. Yeah, I'm devastated. But I'll bet that 50 years from now you'll be able to see who you're talking to on the radio. I'll be retired from active duty by then. I don't know. Somebody somewhere might just decide to give you a call. Wouldn't surprise me. Let's both pray that never happens. <laughs> That's funny. When you get hurt, your body will... We're still looking into why we lost contact with the boss. I'll let you know as soon as we find anything out. In the meantime, it's your job to find Sokolov and get him to safety. Got it? Got it. Murfreesboro. <laughs> Murfreesboro. We're still looking into why we lost contact. Okay, okay. I don't think there's anything up here, is there? I don't think there is. Oh, there's some stuff. Pressing for that, even though you don't really need it. Oh, that stuff's still there? What the hell? Oh, there's a shotgun. I realized that was there. Nice. Big Mac, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. I'm not sure what time because I'm going to be working on some uh, stuff I need to work on tomorrow, but... Big Muck, you did? Hey! There he is! Big Mike, thank you so much for the sub and thank you so much for subscribing to the Pudge 007 Agency channel, my friend. Remember, you only get one life to live. Big Mike, live it! To the max. Welcome to the family, son. Get on in here. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. So much. We're we're getting really close to 3,900 subs, man. Getting really close. Well, I guess someone else must have unsubbed or something. But we're getting really close still, though. Big Mike, bigger Paul, so. We are, man. It's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Big Mike, I'll be streaming tomorrow. For sure. We are, man, for sure. Big Mike! You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished! Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of Phase 1. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase 2. Phase 2. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. Bullet Trash Dave, thanks they for the follow. Appreciate you very much. My help. And Bullet Trash Dave, you only got one life to live. Live it to the max. Welcome to the family, son. Why did you defecate?
Because I was full of crap, that's why, Abigail. Epic. Hey, Relazia. Well, like, well, that's interesting. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Big Mike, I guess technically yes, because she is the mother. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? He 
have seen my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Done here. Now onto Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Snake, can you hear me? What? Yeah, just barely. Barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? <sighs> You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? OK, Snake. Just relax, and it'll all be over before <sighs> you. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. There we go, maybe. The boss. She's defected. What the hell? We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need right, disinfectant Abigail. to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? 
Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. All right, cool thing here, for people that may not know. If you look around, you can see the sorrow. Right there. Sorrow's remains are right there. For those that may not have known that. Pretty cool little Easter egg there. Those are his remains right there. In case anybody didn't see that, right up there behind the log is where the sorrow's remains are. Pretty neat. I think YouTube's kind of being a little blur right now. Okay. Snake, hurry and get those injuries treated. Okay. Snake, hurry and get those injuries treated. Okay, is that all you got to say, man? Snake, what are you doing? Hurry up and treat those wounds. No. I don't feel like it. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fracture okay? left elbow and rib bone Everyone here? and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow. Hey, and Lunar, what's up? They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor what? with the left stick to the affected area. Oh, about the bottom. remains? Yeah, that's, what, that's there where they are. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the enter button. With this no method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages sorry, to wrap sucks. the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Snake, what are you doing? Hurry up and treat those wounds. Three, First, open this. No. Gosh. See the ration, that'll work. Ready to save Snake? I don't know if she does something weird if you save here or not. I don't think it really does. <sighs> hey Noodle Poodle. What did you miss? Um Castilios, yeah. I don't, I don't really know much about Fortnite. Hey, Solid Rock, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, love, Daddy. I'm about to go to sleep here pretty soon, too. Snake, come back in one piece, okay? I'll be waiting. Don't worry. Chuck, you don't need to apologize, man. Just you being here whenever you can is more than enough, and I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Oh, it's been a good night. It's been a good night. Oops. All right, Wabot. Well, Lunar, yeah, usually. <laughs> usually. Just every once in a while, right, Lunar? Or Lunar? Delios, lower your quality settings. Are you noodle poodle? So weed. Uh. 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 
I'm not dropping any frames, guys, so if it's buffering, it's on y'all's end or it's YouTube's end. I'm not dropping anything, so I don't know what's up. Abigail looks pretty tasty. Golly, you're... So <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Must be your internet, Stelio, that's all I can say. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery well, balloon. Why not? No, we ain't getting close it to it. And there they are again. We just saw them again, the remains. It's up close to person. Noodle. What's up, Marley? Hey, Marley, what's up? Sorry. What's up, Marley? Boss and her cobras. I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently, she's Sokolov's woman. Fast, my dear. A kiss of death. Are you KGB? We may be able to use her. Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> For the Alamo. Colonel!
All right, so we're gonna save it, and we're gonna let it. We'll let it for those that are here. I'll let y'all. We'll do the song. We'll listen to the song, and then after that, we're gonna stop the play, stop the stream. Of course we can sing it together. Oh. Hero, you were here earlier today, and I'm about to die. Whew. For Aretha, yeah, rip, rest in peace, Aretha Franklin. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. The uptime's not going to be, and it says one hour, 26 minutes. Why, bot? Well, your internet's just not working out for some reason. Um... I'm not dropping any frames um, because one of my I had my internet went out for like five minutes. What a thrill when darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. Well, thank you, Bullet Trash. To you, what a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. No, Kiro, we're just getting started. In my life, not for honor, but for you. In my heart. There'll be no one else Crime is the way I fly to you I'm still in a dream, snake eater Burn it, burn it. You feed on a tree frog. It's so deep a trial to survive. Mm -hmm. Oh, <sighs> exhausted. You did, bro. Snake eater. How you doing, Joe Wiseman? Hey, El Sharaway. We we're we've been going about seven hours. We're just now coming in. We're about to stop the stream, and we'll come back tomorrow. We just ended the virtuous mission and about to do the Operation Snake Eater. And we come back tomorrow. Snake Eater. Okay, bro. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. Snake eater. Yeah. All right, guys. I know it's just two, but we just got that. That was pretty tasty. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get a different song right here. All right, guys, thank you all so much for hanging out. We'll do some more Metal Gear Solid 3 tomorrow. I'm not sure what time we'll start, but if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click that like button, and make sure to click the bell so you know whenever I go live. If you're on Twitch, also to click that follow button. Make sure. Thank you so much, guys, for being here as well. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't. Twitter or Discord or Facebook. Be sure to also, like I said, follow me on that to, to get some notifications. 
But I want to go live on those as well. So, anyway, thank you so much for your support. You guys are great. Great stream, epic stream tonight. I will see y'all tomorrow. But until next time, guys, this is Pudge007 signing off. Have a good night, everybody. See y'all tomorrow. Good night.